Hello everyone, my name is Ross the Alchemist, and this is a turnip. A long while ago, I had quote tweeted Max Fitzgerald, the creator of Turnip 28, and he replied, and now I'm here to make good on that. Turnip 28, a fantastically macabre and dirty game by Max Fitzgerald. Turnip 28, a fantastically macabre and dirty game by Max Fitzgerald, is a post-apocalyptic, Napoleonic war game and, as according to Max himself, is about turnips. Max has described Turnip 28 as a thousand years after the defeat of Napoleon at the Battle of Austerlitz, the world has fallen into decay. Endless war has led to technology stagnating, and beautiful countrysides have been ground to a thick ruin under the boots of a million dead men. Now, nothing grows. A bizarre and horrible root covers the land, strangling the life from the trees, poisoning the water, and filling the sky with an acrid mist. Humanity barely endures by harvesting this disgusting tuber. It twists their body and minds, infesting their thoughts with divine visions of lost vegetables. Bizarre religious orders have formed. They stockpile abandoned weapons unearthed by the twisting roots. Marching in column under fluttering banners, brandishing mud-clogged muskets and rusted bayonets, they are cruel parodies of long-forgotten armies on the march. Gather your troops. Fix bayonets. Devote yourself to the roots. I have been wanting to start a Turnip 28 army, and I've never really gotten around to it until I was having a conversation with an employee at my favorite local game store about it. I had innocently asked him if he could bring in Perry miniatures or some other ne Napoleonic models, and it piqued his interest. Why? Well, I wanted to start a Turnip 28 army, I replied, and the rest, as they say, is history. As it turns out, shortly after that, the Turnip 28 Kickstarter came out, and I jumped on that faster than a cat on a wounded bird. With the files secured, because of course Turnip 28's Kickstarter would be funded, I had to figure out what I would do for my big item. I ran into a problem. There were just too many big items to choose from. I almost went with what I call the Wicker Man. The thought of having a large, imposing figure on the battlefield does sound good. However, I feel like I would have wanted to have bees in it and around it, and I don't have any bee models yet. Maybe another time I'll build that. But the page that caught my eye was the procession of woe. The thought of this rolling carriage the thought of this rolling carriage that is pulled along by his worshipper, along whatever road they are on, trying to get more people into the fold, really resonated with me. My first task was to find a suitable large thing to act as what people would be worshipping in this crazy, dirty, filthy, gross world. What is better and more gross than an anatomically correct heart? and anatomically correct heart that is just smaller than the average human's heart. These fodder and brutes and toffs aren't really human anymore. There's some amalgamation of human, root vegetable, and filth. So naturally, they'd be drawn to the most uncorrupted heart that beats with a rhythm unheard and unfelt for years. I also found an awesome carriage that I wanted to act as most of the base to the heart, but it wasn't big enough. So I took coffee stirrers to make the floorboard. I used the front and the back of the carriage anyway, even though they weren't attached to anything, to try to make the carriage itself look like it was hanging on by a thread, and that this heart had been growing and had broken down the walls and the roof that used to hold it. I had originally planned to use my airbrush to paint the entire model, but shortly after priming the model, I snapped a piece inside of it, rendering it useless and busted. 
But I've not really had an airbrush for too terribly long since I restarted the hobby. So I'm not really up Shit's Creek. Thinning down a brown and a red, I endeavored to wash them off and have muted colors before using streaking grime on it. I think I let the streaking grime set for just a little bit longer than a day, and I wiped off only a bit with mineral spirits to have some of the red and a bit of the white and brown come through. But that heart is dirty and old and gross and sickly, so I didn't really want to take too much character from it. I slapped some super glue in AK's wet ground diorama paste on the base and called this model modeled and the first thing ready to go in my army. Turnip 28 is a Kit Basher's dark dream come true. Nothing is sacred, nothing is out of the question. If you can think of it, you can do it. I know I have a ton of ideas. Let me know what unit from Turnip 28 you'd like to see me tackle next. Until next time, keep your paintbrushes wet and your models painted. Bye. Oh, God.